Hey guys, this is Alex. I'm sitting in a 2021 Subaru Forester Touring, and today I'm going to show you how to operate the adaptive cruise control and the lane centering. Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to cover the operation of the moonroof real quick as well, because that's a pretty quick and easy one. With your Subaru Foresters with the moonroof, you have this sunshade that is manually can manually be uh, pushed back but you also have the option to open this completely with the back button here and it'll open automatically and it'll stop almost like 90 percent of the way if you want to open just a little bit more you click and hold and it'll move back just a little bit more so that's to open your moonroof all of the way it's pretty cold here today so I'm gonna close this with the forward button and it, you can see it brings the sunshade with it as well all right so that's how you operate your uh, power moonroof now on to the adaptive cruise control and lane centering that's controlled by these two buttons here the top button with the car icon and speedometer is your adaptive cruise control. Whenever you click that, you'll see on the dash over here that it'll light up. So you'll see it light up the cruise control icon as well as your car icon. And the, uh, the cool thing about this with the new Subaru, and a lot of new cars are incorporating this, but uh, they've got an adaptive cruise control feature. So basically what this does is uh, say you're driving down the road, you reach your desired speed at, you know, maybe it's on the highway at 65 miles an hour. Well, in order to set your cruise control, similar to how you would set it in other vehicles, you get to your desired speed and you press down. You'll see down there it says set. You press down to set it and then you can adjust your speed up or down with this little lever to toggle it up and down. Now once your cruise control is set at 65 miles an hour or whatever your desired speed is that you set it at, you know what happens when the car in front of you inevitably slows down or even comes to a complete stop? Well traditionally you'd have to click this to turn it off or you would apply your brake and turn it off. But now what Subaru has done is they've incorporated adaptive cruise control uh, which uses these cameras right here, which are referred to as eyesight. So there's a camera on the left and a camera on the right. And that detects objects, not only people, but cars in front of you. And so whenever the car slows down in front of you, say they start going 50 miles an hour, your car will reduce its speed automatically uh, and adjust accordingly and even come to a complete stop. Now, an added feature here are these up and down arrows that will allow you to adjust the distance between the front of your vehicle and the lead car in front of you, which is the car in front of you. So these little buttons toggle up and down and you'll see on the screen here, these lines increase or decrease. So whenever you click forward, you're increasing the distance between you and the car in front of you. Whenever you click back, you're decreasing. So those lines go away. Now I always encourage people to try it when they're first trying adaptive cruise control, try it all the way with the furthest distance so that way you can get comfortable with allowing the vehicle to uh, do the braking whenever it is set. Now, you may be wondering, um, you know, how do you know when your cruise control is actually set? Because right now, obviously we're not moving. The icon is on, but it's not set. The way you know that this is set, and I'll show a screen grab on the screen since I'm not driving right now, Whenever you're driving your vehicle, this will light up. Whenever you set your speed, it'll light up green. Same goes for your lane centering, this little steering wheel icon. So you click that, do it again here. You click that and this icon comes up. So that controls your lane centering. And what you'll see when you turn this on, you also see two lines. Those will light up whenever those lines are detected. And these cameras do the same thing. They detect the lines on the left and the right side of the road. And whenever it detects those, it'll, this icon will light up green. 
and it'll use your power steering to gently guide you back and forth, keeping you in the center of your lane and helping you avoid a collision that could be caused by leaving the, your lane. So that's another really cool feature that I like on the, not only Subaru, but just modern vehicles in general. I think it's a really nice thing to have, especially on long trips or even uh, daily driving back and forth from your commute to work or school or wherever you may be going. So that about wraps it up for uh, today's video. I just wanted to make a quick, uh, an easy video that could answer your question about the uh, the safety feature in regards to the adaptive cruise and the lane centering. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below of this video. I'll be happy to answer that or even make another dedicated video answering something uh, that you may have questions about. So um, you can subscribe down below, hit the bell notification as well if you want to get updated when I post future videos just like this one. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.